Good morning, everybody. It's April again, and I wanted to just share with you a little bit about what to expect for the week. We're actually in prep week right now with a Monday start that's coming up. I wanted to let you know the best way to utilize the Facebook page um, and this group throughout your 21 day challenge and also a couple other things you can do to start to get ready. So number one, you are in the right place at the right time. And I just want to let you know that there's people that lose, you know, five pounds, 10 pounds, 15, even upwards of 20 pounds during this 21 day challenge. Part of the reason for that is that a lot of us have a lot of extra inflammation that's going on. And because of that, you could carry up to an extra half gallon to a gallon of water or fluid that's helping to protect your you know, organs and stuff on the inside. That alone could count for about 11 pounds. So when people start to lose weight a little bit faster, we don't promote fast weight loss because we want you to preferentially lose fat. But because so much of what we're doing is so anti-inflammatory in the first few weeks, you could lose weight a lot quicker than you normally would. So just wanna let you know that. Don't be married to the scale though. You could lose 15 inches before you lose a pound. And trust me, the way that we're gonna teach you to eat with low glycemic impact eating is not just about the glycemic index. The glycemic index is a number that measures how a carbohydrate will affect your blood sugar. Numbers that are high will certainly spike your blood sugar fast and high and also sort of turn on a metabolic switch that makes you store fat because insulin itself, which is responding to the sugar, is a fat storage hormone. All that being said, there's a reason why low fat, low calorie, and seemingly low sugar foods are actually probably making you gain weight or not be able to lose weight. And we're gonna teach you how low glycemic impact foods help you to be able to eat more, more volume if you're eating the right foods, so you're not starving, you're not feeling like you're dieting or eating some kind of a bird-like diet. But this is a way that you can sustain eating for life, this is a way that you can feed your family and it is a healthful way to be able to not just drop the fat, but hold on to the muscle that you already have, which is really the most important thing. And because your blood sugar is gonna stable, people who have cholesterol issues, um, blood sugar issues, may see that start to stabilize. We see that all the time, but also, um, if you have cravings and things of that nature, you should see them subside. So keep in touch with us. Certainly there's always people, I don't know everybody's medical history, but we'll always be able to at least point you in the right direction or try to answer the questions best we can. Next, this is a secret group. So nobody outside of this group can see the group, see who's in the group, or see any of the content of the group. That means that you should feel comfortable to ask questions, post, comment, whatever. But if you do feel uncomfortable doing that within the group setting, please feel free to private message me. We do have a lot of people that are in this group. I don't have an exact number for you. So, you know, be thoughtful about your post for sure, but I am definitely gonna ask people to engage and I really want you to do that. Now, to start to get ready, you can take measurements. I really highly suggest that you do that. I will post a tracking sheet. If you're buying the journal, which some of you have, there is an actual place in there for you to be able to put your before measurements. If you have the ability to, um, if maybe your scale does a body fat percentage or you have a handheld or you have a gym nearby, it's a really great idea to measure body fat percentage because again, what we're gonna be losing over the course of three weeks is fat. It's just that sometimes it takes two or three weeks to really see what the gains are in that department. If you're gonna take measurements with a soft measuring tape, um, I will also have all of those listed out. But you know, it's your chest, it's your waist, it's your hips, thighs, um, things of that nature. And a before picture, front, side, and back, wearing things that might be a little bit more form-fitting so we can actually see the difference. You're always gonna be the last person to see your positive results. So if you do take a before picture, I promise you, and just keep it on your phone, you're gonna notice the difference. So just stand at the certain same place or same distance away when you take those pictures or have somebody take them for you for a little bit of accountability. Now, like I said, you don't need to step on the scale. If that kind of thing bugs you out, it's totally no problem. You know how you feel in your clothes. But for a lot of people, just taking a before in the beginning and even after the three weeks to see what the positive changes are, I promise if your body needs to lose weight, the weight will come. It's just sometimes body fat moves, sometimes inches move, sometimes weight, and sometimes all three. Everybody is different. Also, I'm gonna post about two times a day. I will be on there multiple, four, five, six times a day to be answering questions and seeing what kind of comments and posts are being made so that you will make sure that you get personal attention. But just look for videos. I'm gonna have a tracking sheet so that you can just scroll back and I number my videos one, two, three, four once we get past preparation. This way, you can just kind of check off and make sure you don't miss some content um, because it will be sort of chock full. So I'm gonna do that to help you out, but I may just wanna answer a question and a video is easier, so it's not ever gonna be really fancy. It could be 11 o'clock at night and I just decide a video is an easier way to answer a question for all those one, those videos won't be numbered. 
All right, last couple of things. Start to clear the junk out. We're gonna start journaling. I think that that's important. You don't have to do that during cleansing week, but it is um, a good idea just to get a sense of what you're eating. People lose 50% more weight when they are actually journaling than if they're not, because some of it is just an awareness um, more than like accountability. But also if you're not having as fast results, if I have the ability to have you text me um, some journal pages, that will be really helpful. Your 21 day kit comes with a journal page that you can actually photocopy. Um, but just be aware, we're also only going to be using that seven day cleansing kit the first week, even though your tracking sheet says to use everything. The only reason for that, for my purposes, is that a lot of people are already taking some of those supplements for optimal health. So that's a good way to be able to track it and, and um, stay on board. But for a lot of people that this is new for, the compliance of just getting through detox week, it's not going to be tough, promise, but it'll be the hardest thing that you do in your healthy journey. Um, it's just easier if we, all we focus on is that seven day cleansing kit. So set some goals, start to get the junk out of your house. Um, we're gonna just be focused on a lot of vegetables, fruits. I'm gonna totally have a video to explain the entire meal plan for you. I'm gonna download a file, which should be up to that side, I think, in the file section of a challenge packet that will go through the whole food plan, but I will have a video that explains everything. And our official day is Monday to get started, so don't worry, there's gonna be lots more stuff. Just be checking in a couple of times a day to see if anything new has been posted, and I can't wait to get started.